what's on my mind. So hey y'all, it's your girl Amanda, yes y'all already know. I sound a little um, nasally because I'm sick. I got sick right after the viral meal. So anyway, we are at the airport uh, in Houston, Texas, and we are getting ready to um, fly out to Mexico. So I'm gonna vlog and take you guys with me. Uh, right now, we just stopped after we just came through TSA. We stopped at this spot called Ruby's Diner, and so we're gonna go ahead and get something to eat before we get ready to board the plane. Plastic cocktail too. Tell them that. So crazy. So yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get a burger and maybe like some um, one of these shakes or something. I don't know. One of these um. One of these deluxe shakes, I guess. I don't know. What? Like walk. Yep. That's exactly what you need to do. We have officially made it to Mexico. We're told how long I'll have you see it. We officially made it here, so yes, thank God. Are you both flying together? Yes. Okay, so that's, this one is just one, okay? And this one is one per person. You'll need to fill out the bottom part as well, please, senor. Okay. So what she gave you? She got me one. Yeah, give me the sweet, yeah. The sweet. This is the sweet. What are you talking about? Thank you. 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 Yeah, we're leaving out Saturday. Saturday, okay. This is downtown area. In case you want to explore, this is Malecon. Wow. Flea market, the performance working on tips. Anywhere you go, they offer tequila. We produce tequila here. That's like the hometown of the tequila, Jalisco, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, no worry, by the end, you speak Espanol. This is Puerto Vallarta, <laughs> downtown area. Okay. After six, they got performance working on tips. If you have the camera, you can take some pictures, Puerto Vallarta. Even you can take pictures here in the letters. Oh, wow. This is the old beautiful. town, the nice church. Want to renew the boats, amigo? Okay. And this is the pier, old town. Take a bus. If you want to do activities by water, we have a marina next door from Sunset, 10 minutes away. Yes. When you were Googling downtown or Puerto Vallarta, did you see something to do for your anniversary? Did you uh, no, we really had not look. Yeah, no. Too much work, amigo? <laughs> I help you, okay? You say 10 years, right? Yes. Okay. There's a nice show. It's called Rhythms of the Night. This one is just for couples. Husband romantic? Yes. Sí? Very. Very romantic. 1 out of 10. 11, 12. 15. 15? Yeah. Mira. And this one, they take you by boat to a private beach, it's called Caletas. When you're there, no electricity, oh, wow. you're on the porch, it's candles. Oh, yeah, we're do you that. have a nice dinner yeah, in front of the beach. Yeah. Yeah. After you eat, you have a performance, world class Cirque du Soleil. Oh, you know Cirque du Soleil back home? Yeah. You ever been? Yeah, we never been. Not yet? Hey, there's always an opportunity, okay? Yeah. After you guys eat, you have a performance. All the guys dress like Aztecs, and they do like a show. Rhythms of the night. And it's located on the south. Rhythms. Cool. Okay. Yeah. When is your anniversary? May the 30th, Thursday. 
Thursday. This one online is 139 without alcohol. With alcohol, they have a version, it's $10 more. And then they have a one it's called VIP. This one, what is the difference on this one? There's a waiter, you have the dinner, and you have the show in front. So you're eating, you have a waiter for you, and you have the show. Okay? However, do it online. That way you get discounts, okay? 10 percent off. That's for the retail of the night. Online you get 10 percent off. And this is the book. Are you adventurous? Adventurous? Más o menos? You ever try zip lining? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Nadar, you like swimming? Yeah, I like swimming. Mira, this is what I, I was telling you about. The legend of the five sons, rhythms of the night, Sabia. Circo de Soleil, even New York Times. It's just outstanding. Dinner, show, okay? Available for purse, open bar. I tell you the secret, do it online, the, uh, the open bar, because you drink, right? Este, this is the thing. If you don't buy the all-inclusive, when you guys gather to the fish and caletas, they say the all-inclusive. Closer, but they charge you 25 per person. Sí. Correct, it's 13. Y, señorita, ¿la hizo You heard about this? Marietas, by any chance? The hidden beach. Early you heard about it online? Wow. Show your picture. What's this one with the slide on it? Which one? The slide? It was bad. Yeah. Okay. Right there, what's that? This one is outdoor. Outdoor adventure. Yeah. Mira, this one is an outdoor adventure. They take you by speedball to a place called Boca de Tomatlán, all the way in the mountains. You do mule ride, they take you all the way into the jungle. When you guys are on the top. Oh, Lord, I was not expecting to get hit with that shit. I know it, right? I hope they don't be with this shit at the hotel. I'm telling you. Tell them this, man, I already paid, man. I already don't want this shit. Fuck. I don't know if I had this shit going. Hi, welcome. How are you? Welcome Hello. to Sunset Plaza. Can you help me with the passports of the both of you? Okay, so listen. I gotta get ready in 20 minutes and I'm looking a hot freaking mess, okay? I overslept, first of all. Y'all already know my voice been shit because I'm sick. I got sick the night of our viral, which is not damn fun, okay? So, anyway, I don't like when my head cut off, but you know what? I really ain't got a choice now, do I? I might do. I don't know. Okay, so.
All right, y'all. So I just did a little bit because um, with my wedding style, the back already had some um, spiral curls, and then she had the back this up in a hump with braids, with a braided crown. So last night, um, when I took it down, the braided crown still gave me like this. Y'all know what braids look like when you take them down. So I just blended it in with the with the curls that I already had in the back that had loosened up, and I'm just gonna roll like this. So, yep, that's what it's looking like. And um, yeah, so ignore the room. I told y'all. <laughs> Okay, it was wild, wild. But um, I need to put some lotion on. I'm not ironing shit today, y'all. Like, let me tell y'all, I'm not one of those um, I'm not one of those folks that's gonna be out here on the beach with no um damn heels and you know what I'm saying. All this trying to be fine looking and all of that. Because I'm actually paying for this trip. No shade. No shade. But I'm just saying. I ain't doing all that. So. Y'all gonna see me. Like a regular ass person out here. Wearing regular ass clothes. Okay. And today. We got stuff going on. So. Uh, I'm gonna be cute. Don't get it twisted. But. I ain't finna be out here trying to look gourmet and shit. So anyway. I gotta get dressed. So I will see y'all. In a minute. So, hey, y'all, we back to the room, finally. Okay, we had to go to that damn presentation that we uh, signed up for at the airport. So, I'm going to do a video for you guys, a separate don't video talk to the of things to, to, to not do to avoid, things to avoid when you come to Mexico, okay? I'm going to tell you guys things to avoid. And first off, stay your ass when you get out the airport. Just walk your ass to a taxi and go to your place. Don't stop at that big, long-ass desk. Of them asking you where you what hotel you going to, making you think that you getting you finna get a taxi or something. Don't do it. They finna try to sell you a timeshare presentation. Now I take that back. First of all, let me put this out there. We did it because we didn't know what was going on, but we've done a timeshare thing before, and that shit. If they say seventy five minutes, no, that shit three turns hours. into three hours because all they keep that. pressuring you over and over. They send you to three or four different people trying to pressure you and close the deal and all this stuff or whatever. And it don't, it just, it ain't worth it. The shit is bullshit. The amount of money they're asking for, all of that is bullshit when you could just plan your own trip for cheap. My husband do it for us all the time, okay? But that desk, they're full of shit. They, they will offer you activities to do. Like, we're gonna, we have some activities that we're going to do on our anniversary, which is Thursday, our actual anniversary. And it is a good deal, but it's not worth the time. I see y'all Okay, it's not worth the time that you're wasting. Um, I'm gonna put my bathing suit on and now I head out there. Um, but it's not okay. Are we gonna eat first or what? Okay, but it's not worth the time that you spend um, telling them no, you know what I'm saying? It's something that's unnecessary, it's not worth the time. So, you may as well spend the extra money to do your activities without, um, you know, without. Worrying about wasting your time being pressured to buy, a, you know, a timeshare. And as you guys know, we have a special needs child, okay? This one is getting on my nerves. But I know it only came because I was drinking this stuff and stressed out for my vow renewal. But anyway, as you guys know, um, we have a child with several palsy. So we cannot make a commitment um, years out or no 50-year commitment and all of that. We cannot do that for vacation you know what i'm saying even though we take a vacation uh we travel we do travel a lot but we only travel a lot when my daughter's not sick or when she's not in the hospital or having surgery or something like that so we do travel a lot um and for our anniversary if you guys have been following me for a while you do know that um we take an anniversary trip every year okay with that being said there have been times where my baby gets sick she has seizures we don't know she has to have surgery or something well we can't take a trip and we're not going to obligate ourselves to pay $150 or $300 a month for a vacation. And then when it's time to go on vacation, we still got to pay for the vacation, even though it's a little bit less. No, we may as well just save the money up and go on a vacation. And if we don't go on a vacation, we haven't lost any money. You see what I'm saying? But I, I don't want to get into all that. I will definitely do a video, especially if y'all really want a video of what not to do when you go out of the country to these places 
let me know and I'll do like uh, things to not things to avoid when you go on these trips to make your trip better um, so let me know if y'all want to do that I'm not going to get all the way into it right now but just to let y'all know avoid that timeshare shit because even though the deal sounds good of the gifts you get afterwards believe me it's not worth your time time is very precious and it's not worth your time you may as well pay the little extra dollars to get what you're going to get okay but anyway, let me get ready for the beach, okay? So, that's what I'm about to do. And then we're going to go lay out for the rest of the day because we've been dealing with these people for... We have literally been dealing with these damn people for since 11 o'clock today. And we're just getting back to the hotel at 3.52. So, 75 minutes, my ass. And it would have been longer if we wouldn't have just been like, look, we don't want the shit, okay? So, yeah. But anyway. So, let's just see... All these bags everywhere. So I think what I'm going to wear is. Let me see. He went through here and got everything everywhere. All right. I'm just gonna wear my uh. I'm gonna wear my Nike slides. Okay and. I know I have a bathing suit in here. I think I'm going to wear this cover up right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to wear this cover up. And let's see what my bathing suit is. Which bathing suit? Okay, I got to find my bathing suit. Alright, so yeah. And that's the only time my hair didn't fell out and everything. But it's cool. It's like a loose wave look type of thing so i'm cool with that and they came in and gave us some new robes and stuff so um we had them clean up because it was a mess from last night y'all like for real for real but anyway this is how i am looking today okay told y'all i was doing real simple so okay this is the bathing suit so here's what the bathing suit looks like the back is out and then the front is simple. It's um like a lace material. And then here is um the cover up. So anyway, I am going to get dressed. And then I'm gonna switch out and get ready because today we're just gonna make it a day at the resort, laying out, chilling, relaxing, eating all this good shit for this all inclusive, okay? Get my drink on. I'm gonna be drinking me some pina coladas because they is fire, okay? Five. Yes. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So let's go. Okay. So this is what you girl looking like. Boom. 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 <laughs> yes, these legs are heels in the making, honey. But anyway, so this is what I have on. And I have on my key shades. Again, I just have my hair for my braid out and some curls, honey. Yeah. So that's what I'm looking like so far. I guess you guys can see me. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you guys can see me. But anyway, yes. Getting ready to go down here and love on up my husband. Rub on my husband. I guess I need to take some photos. I don't know. But I'm feeling myself, y'all. Oh, yes, the girl done lost good old square pants and everything. Fitting her um her renewal dress and the renewal vows, red and dress, whatever you want to call it. So yes, I'm feeling good about myself. I ain't exactly where I need to be, but you know, I'm, I ain't gonna say I ain't feeling good about myself because I am, okay? Yes. But anyway. We're going to head downstairs. I'm, I'm going to take some ground photos.
It's still on you? You can't slide those things over? y'all so we are back in the room as you guys can see i took a shower and got in my robe and i'm about to order some room service but i need to there's something i need oh i forgot my I forgot i swapped out slippers so anyway they cleaned the room while we were out which is a good thing because i ain't gonna lie we had swung shit everywhere so anyway um yeah so we're back in the room and I love my slippers. They're the cutest. So, um, we came in. Let me see what's going on. We came in because um, it looked like it was about to rain. So we went on and came in, but there's no rain on the forecast. And it sounds like everybody's still outside. So hubby just went downstairs. Make sure the door is closed, because if not, it's on like an automatic sensor, so if the doors aren't closed, the air uh, will stay off. So I think I'm gonna come out of here and chill until hubby comes back and order some room service. They are, if you guys can hear that noise, this is the first time I've heard it since we've been here. But we did read some reviews when we were booking that said that they had uh, some um, some noise going on because they were building another tower. So, um, yeah, they were building another tower. And so um, I didn't hear the noise any yesterday and today is my first time hearing it. And it's not really bothering us. So, cause like in the room you can barely hear it. I mean, barely hear it. So it's not really bothering me. Um, but yeah, this hotel, it's all like all of the rooms are um, oceanfront so they're all like this and it's a smaller resort which is what I like I don't like um, those massive resorts because um, you know the lines are long when you're trying to eat and all of this kind of stuff and we were just reading a lot of reviews about them and I'm more into boutique hotels that are smaller you know uh, resorts that are smaller where you don't really have to wait in line for anything the pools aren't crowded you know stuff like that I just feel like the smaller the boutique hotel, the better um, the better it is food-wise and all of that because they care more about what they're doing versus trying to cater to a lot of people, if that makes sense. So, anyway, so I'll show you guys what it looks like out here. And there's the three hot tubs. There's two pools. And then that pool over there is actually the adult-only pool. And we were in that last bed right there which is right by the ocean. Um, this one is for kids and everything, and these three right here. This is actually where they're doing the work. Um, and then that's a neighboring resort over there. Anyway, so this is the view. I love it. Love, love, love it. But, yep. And see those clouds out there? It looks like it's gonna rain. And then the mountains are over there, which are absolutely amazing. So, yes. So let's see what we are going to get. Hey, looking a mess, child. I'm telling you, this humidity out here is crazy. Like, beach wave going, beach wave going. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I got my color put back in. 
don't know if you can see the burgundy, but I got my color put back in on the end, so yeah. But um, like I said, we're just chilling today. Um, we're really not doing too much, just loving on each other. And, you know, just chilling, relaxing for the beach and stuff, and then um, we'll have some activities. But our main goal when we go on our anniversary trips and stuff is just to relax, because we're always ripping and running all year long. So this trip is just for us to just kind of relax and do what we want to do. Um, Thursday is the 30th, which is our official 10-year anniversary. And we will definitely be doing some things. Um, we have, I think we have some massages set up. And then we have, um, it's called Rhythm of the Nights, where we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go, a boat is gonna take us to an island. And then once we get to the island, um, another, I mean, once we get to the island, there's gonna be like um, a, a sunset type of dinner. We're gonna eat there, and then they're gonna have, and then the boat is gonna take, to, take us to another area of the island where they have like a Mexican um, dance hall for a Mexican, um, what do you call it, Mexican show. So I'm excited for that. It's gonna be really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited for that. But I definitely wanna bring you guys along. I did not bring my laptop because I could not find my um, my charger, but my husband brought his, but of course he doesn't have an editing system on there. So I'm gonna try to edit and put up each day um, because you know I wanna do, of course I wanna give you guys a lot of footage, so I don't wanna put it all in one. But I'm gonna try to edit and do it each day and that way, um, and upload it, you know what I'm saying, one a day or something, and that way you guys will have that and get the experience as we go through. Because being here for six days is gonna be kinda hard to put all of that on camera at the same time, if that makes sense. So anyway, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, so I'm gonna see what I'm gonna order. I can't hold you guys too long with this arm because um, it's back messed up since the accident, but, so let's see. Let's see what we're gonna water. Come on. Alright, so we're not doing breakfast, obviously. Um, my husband said the pizza was disgusting last night, so kinda worried about that. Let's see, they have enchiladas. Ooh, cheesecake sounds good. Order room service? Si, your room number? Uh, 910. Okay. Um, I'd like to order the enchiladas. Enchiladas? Green enchiladas? Yes. Si. And I'd also like to order the, um, the cheesecake. And the chocolate cake. Okay. Do you guys have coffee? Coffee, yes. Okay, could I get coffee? For uh, how many people? Uh, just one. Okay. One coffee? Uh huh. Uh, with, um, uh, you have milk? Sorry? With milk in it? Okay. And um, that'll be all. Yes, ma'am, that's it. One chocolate cake is coffee. Yes, that's it. Okay, miss, in 25 minutes, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Y'all, -bye. Bye. <laughs> I didn't know which one I wanted. I didn't know if I wanted the chocolate cake or I didn't know if I wanted the cheesecake. I didn't know which one was good, so. You know, because if it comes out that it is a, if it comes out that it is a, uh, you know, like a box cheesecake or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that. I want, like, some old handmade, handcrafted milkshake. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. But anyway, it makes my mind. <laughs> and then if chocolate cake, now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to mix it up. And then, of course, I like to have uh, coffee with my dessert, so. Yeah, and I hope the enchiladas are good. I know I'm mixing up some crazy stuff, y'all, but 
it's cool, it'll be alright. If it don't mix well, I ain't gonna eat it all, so no big deal. But anyway, so <laughs> so y'all, let me ask y'all this. So I have lost, I've literally lost weight. I've lost like 12 pounds, right? And I can see it, I can tell it and everything, I can feel it. But in my face, it's like, it's like I'm not losing weight. So I don't know, maybe if I'm losing weight in my face last or something, I don't know. But I hate that because when I take pictures, I look like a whale, you know what I'm saying? Like, with this, with this chin and shit, I look like a whale. I don't like that, for real. So, and I've never been one of those people like, oh, I don't like that because my neck looks fat or my angles. And, you know, I've never been about the angle type of situation. So I'm kind of scared with it, you know kind of scared that I'm at that point where I'm worried about angles and shit, because that ain't never been me, so. But I figured out, I figured out. But, um, yeah. I realized that whenever I be trying diets and stuff, they don't work for me. I don't lose any weight. I seem to gain weight. But then when I eat like I want, and I just restrict the time frames that I'm eating, like late at night or something like that, if I just restrict that and um, cut that down and just, um, you know, just cut the portions down. I always seem to lose weight without trying. Like, I can eat what I want and just cut the portions down, and I'm good. Like, and cut the time frame down, you know. I seem to be good. So that's what, I, that's what I've been sticking to, and that's what I've been rolling with. Nothing restricting what I eat and all that kind of stuff, because I feel like you don't feel like a person when you have to restrict what you eat. You know what I'm saying? You want to live your life. You don't want to stress out. And when you're stressing, that keeps you gaining weight, you know what I'm saying? That keeps the weight on you, and I realize that when I stress about a diet, what I can and cannot eat, the stress kills me, and it makes me it makes me not lose any weight. That shit is mental as well as, as, well as physical, so I know that. But anyway, I'm going to see y'all when the food comes in, and I will let y'all know when and it when and where. When and where? No, I'll let y'all know when the food comes in and what it looks like, all right? So peace out, Craig. Our room service is here. These are the enchiladas. I didn't tell them no onions. I forgot to. I didn't know they had them until my husband mentioned it. The cheesecake for my coffee and the chocolate cake. So all of it looks pretty good. So let's just see.